Thank you, listeners. Joining us on Inside Banking now, we have Camille Pierce, Product Development Manager at NCB Merchant Service. Ms. Pierce, welcome to the hotline. Hi, Emily. Thank you very much. And how do you do? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. I want to ask you quickly whether you can answer any questions on Omni and fees charge on Omni. Any questions on Omni? Yeah, an Omni policy. I had a caller this morning and I want to know whether you can speak to that at all or should I direct the question somewhere else to somebody in NCB? I wouldn't be able to respond to that just now, but I can pass the, the query to someone All right. internally. All right, good. Because I know you came here now to talk about preparing businesses for seasonal opportunities in inside banking with NCB. So go right ahead. What's e-commerce? Well, so simply put, Emily, e-commerce is buying and selling of goods and services over the internet using either a smartphone, tablet, or any other smart device. Mm-hmm. And it can take many forms. It's not just a website that customers can use to order products, but there are so many other modalities. So different businesses have been expanding in ways that they didn't think possible through e-commerce. And customers are equally enjoying it because it's, it's allowing them tremendous benefits as well. Yes, some fraud involved too. <laughs> well, you know, with, with, with payments, that is... Uh, general across across the board but e-commerce ncb's e-commerce product um is very secure we pride ourselves in 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 offering a very secure platform Mm -hmm. um we have our pci compliance that is required 3d secure Mm -hmm. um and 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 we offer a very secure gateway for merchants and customers to transact so you have a separate NCB e-commerce platform? Well, we offer the e-commerce product um, to merchants or businesses for yeah. them to be able to provide that services to their that service to their customers. Tell me how that works. How do you offer it? So a, a merchant or a business um, with a website mm-hmm. um, will integrate with our payment gateway mm-hmm. and customers would then be able to go to their website and oh transact yeah using 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 or gateway as the back end okay cuz i wondered when we had um what's the name of that product that the government has to deliver food during the lockdown again um the, the, the ends. end yes, yes. I wondered how that wor- how that worked initially, where you could order from, you go to this platform, I, I think it's ENDS, let's say ENDS.com or whatever it is, and you're ordering from any one of these businesses that have registered on that platform, and you pay via credit card or, I suppose, whatever other facility they offer, and then the money... I wasn't sure how the breakout of the money goes, um, whether the bank collects everything and then would account to the, 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 the merchant from whom the customer intended to buy. And when taxes are in, I, I really wasn't sure how that works. I'm just wondering practically um, if you can explain then how your your platform integrates with the merchant's platform with you with them using your gateway. Explain it some more for me. Okay, sure, I'd be happy to. So let's take ENDS, for example. Mm-hmm. Um, ENDS would have NCB yeah. merchants, um, um, you know, as a part of that program. Mm-hmm. And so as an NCB merchant, um, just as any other merchants, um, you would, again, have a website mm-hmm. um, where your customers would be able to go. And it can be either a website, as I mentioned before, or an app or uh, a smartphone, um, any smart device yeah. that you have your products and services uh, featured on mm-hmm. that customers now will be able to go to that website um, in the back end, there are 
there are, and I don't want to get into too much of the technicalities, but mm-hmm. there are different types of solutions that we offer. Mm-hmm. One is a, a, a standard integration for larger merchants who may want custom-built websites. Mm-hmm. NCB provides the technical support to be able to accept payments on your customized payment page. And there's also an option for you to you for the for merchants to use our hosted payment page yes. through our first or or vendor first Atlantic Commerce. So you have, have a full arrangement, a full contract with the merchant um behind the scenes previous to them setting up a website with your portal as a payment gateway. That is correct. Yeah. Yes. We set them up as a merchant first and foremost. Yeah. And then we begin to, well, depending on the the solution that best fits their business, mm-hmm. we offer that solution to them. Um, as I mentioned before, standard integration is, is typically for larger merchants. We mm-hmm. do have other solutions like our payment buttons, which allows businesses to accept card payments on their social media um, channels or WhatsApp, email, or website. Mm-hmm. And mer- merchants or businesses can use this convenient feature in communicating seasonal offerings. It's a shareable, clickable icon or text mm-hmm. that you can send to customers for them to purchase your goods or services. So there's no development that is required, as as would be the case for a custom website. Okay. We, al- we also have marketplaces, which is a product that allows you to sell on another merchant's e-commerce website. Yes. So this leverages sales traffic on larger e-commerce websites. So think of Amazon. Amazon. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, During sales events such as Black Friday or Cyber Monday that um, we have coming up. So they will be able to leverage that traffic. We also have website templates. Um, which is what we call our e-commerce business in a box solution. Mm -hmm. And these are customizable pre-built website templates that allows you to upload your goods or services um, and access your own unique website Mm -hmm. without, again, without development costs or effort. Okay. And so for all of these services that you describe, whether it's a website integrated with the payment gateway or the payment button or marketplaces or website templates, you you charge a fee of the merchant for each time a customer uses um, the NCB payment portal on any of those? So we there there are fees associated with the product um, to the merchant. Mm-hmm. Um, the customer will will be charged whatever fees that the merchants um, are charging for their business yes. or based on the products or services that they're offering. So yes. NCB has the relationship with the merchant and we do charge a fee um, for depending on the, the type of product that is offered. We do have a, a a deal going on for this season. So if you sign up for any of our payment buttons or website templates, Mm-hmm. Um, using our prom- promotional code NCB2021, you'll get the first month free and 30, 35% off for the next three months. The first month free, 35% off. Off of what? 35% off of the of your monthly fee. What for was the mo- yeah, months, what's the monthly right? fee? So the monthly fee is $40 um, US per month. Mm-hmm. So, it, this is for the, for the merchant to pay, yeah? For the merchant to pay, that's So, right. irrespective of the number of times a customer uses the NCB payment portal for a transaction, all the merchant pays to you is $40 per month maximum for now. So, there, that is our monthly fee. Um, we do have a per transaction fee as well. Why would the per transaction fee be applicable at all if you have a flat monthly? Well, this is our this is our fee structure uh, based on how we charge um, and how we mm-hmm. levy the charges to uh, merchants. So um, this 
standard charges for integration for, for the e-commerce product is a, a monthly fee as well as per transaction fees. And so, that is general across yeah. the e-commerce So the platform. flat, the, is it that the flat fee applies if it is used by a customer, not more than by the merchant, not more than 10 times for the month, and then after that a monthly, a, 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 a per per use fee applies? So the the monthly fee starts once the the merchant integrates is, is up and running, right? And the integration is completed. Oh, um, and the per transaction fee comes now as the transaction starts yes. to to come in. And how much is it per transaction? That's twenty five cents per transaction. Twenty five US cents. Yeah. That that's correct. And the the. So whether or not there is any transaction at all by a customer using the merchants, buying anything from the merchant, the merchant will have to pay 40 US dollars per month. Per month. Yes. Correct. Correct. And they have a first month free to be to have NCB integrated and thereafter 35 percent off 40 US for three months. That's, that's correct. Right. But thereafter, they have to pay the full 40 and 25 US cents per transaction that would come in. Yeah? That's, that's correct. And there's enough traffic on people's um, merchants' website for them to sign up for this product? Sorry, can you repeat if there's enough traffic? Yes. If there, if, do you find that there are a lot of things going on in the e-commerce space at the moment that there is a demand for your NCB e-commerce payment, payment gateway, and so forth? Yes, definitely, especially as the holiday season approaches, businesses are no doubt busily preparing for the season. So they they should be thinking carefully, if, if are not already thinking carefully, about how to improve convenience and access to their products and services, especially now, yeah. um, at a time where we're, we're still being cautious about how we move around in CB e-commerce solutions addresses all these variables by providing businesses with this platform yeah. to be able to satisfy that that demand. So if there are any merchants now listening who have some presence in the um, internet space and they want to find out from NCB how to have your gateway portal put up, what do they do? So they can go to our website uh, www.gncb.com slash e-commerce mm-hmm. and they can sign up for a product um, they will be contacted by one of our sales and relationship officers who mm-hmm. will guide them through the process mm-hmm. and the, and your portal is safe how, pe- how can people know that when they're whether when they're paying through this portal, there won't be somebody there who is trying to defraud them of whatever it is they have on their card. Through our through our website, through the portal that's on the merchants, um, whether website or or media page. How can they be sure when I see the NCB payment portal somewhere, and I'm using my NCB card or whichever card to pay that I'm conducting a transaction that is going to be near fraud proof if there's anything like that so our our gateway is is very secure we we hold our gateway to a a a very high standard we hold security to a very high standard at ncb um as i mentioned before um we comply with all the different security requirements from the payment associations Mm-hmm. Visa, Mastercard, um, as well as we have our own internal controls that are applied as well to yes. ensure the highest level of security right. and for if, merchants and customers. If anybody feel that somebody used their card without their authorization, what's the backup that they can do to stop the card being used? They can choose to block the card and that is that is a process that we have as well um, through the Manage My Card portal. Yes. Um, so they can go to the Manage My Card portal and immediately block their card. 
Um, and, and that will that does not require inter- intervention from us. Once they request that card to be blocked, it will be. Yeah. All right. That's all the time we have for you today. Ms. Pierce, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much for having me. All right. That's Camille Pierce, Product Development Manager, NCB Merchant Service Inside Banking with NCB. Well,